The first U.S. defeat of the Seminole Wars took place here on the Apalachicola River at Chattahoochee, Florida on November 30, 1817. American soldiers had attacked the Creek Indian village of Falton, Georgia one week earlier. The unprovoked action outraged the Red Stick Creek, Seminole, and Black Seminole warriors then living across North Florida. Several hundred of these warriors took up a position here on the riverbank at Chattahoochee, determined to stop U.S. supply boats from reaching Fort Scott, an American military post about 12 miles upstream. When the boat came within range, um, a large group of Red Stick Creek, Seminole, Yuchi, Miccosukee, and other warriors uh, attacked. Uh, they were in hidden positions along the banks of the river. Uh, they opened fire on the boat. The commander of the boat, Lieutenant Richard W. Scott, uh, was shot down with the, in the first volley of fire, as were most of his able-bodied men. By the time the smoke had cleared, 34 men, six women, and four children lay dead. Six other men, five of them wounded, escaped by swimming away underwater. The only other survivor, Elizabeth Stewart, was taken captive. Well, this battle was uh, received obviously very poorly by the uh, United States. When news reached Washington, D.C., the President of the United States was outraged. He sent orders to Nashville, Tennessee, to Major General Andrew Jackson to invade Florida, which was then a Spanish colony and punish those responsible for this attack. He called it an outrage. The site of the battle that eventually made Florida a part of the United States can be seen today at River Landing Park in Chattahoochee. Future plans include the placement of a historical marker and overlook at the site. To learn more, please visit exploresouthernhistory.com or read the book, The Scott Massacre of 1817 by Dale Cox. It is available at amazon.com. In Chattahoochee, Florida, I'm Rachel Conrad for Two Egg TV.